Wanji. Hello, welcome everybody back to Kira Yoga. So I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which I teach this class today. The Yaru people of Broome. And just going to do a quick little class today of um, dogs. So if you have dogs at home you might understand the struggle of trying to practice with them. Um, as soon as you sit down near the ground or lie down they want to be all up in your face. So we're going to embrace that today as the dogs come and go. Her name is Yanara which means Riddell Beach here in Broome which is where we are today. We've got the hermit crabs in the background the beach and the sunset. So we'll just start lying on our backs. We're going to see how it go. This is our first little video with Yanara. She's only 15 weeks, so she's still very much learning. Pippa might come and go as well. I've just had a big swim, so we'll see if they're used up enough energy to settle down. <laughs> so when you're ready, just coming down onto your back. <laughs> you've got your doggy nearby just trying to get them to settle near you sitting or lying down and just take a few big deep breaths in and out maybe one hand on the heart one hand on the belly just coming into your body now so trying to um, ignore the distractions going on around you. Big deep belly breaths. Pushing the air out on the exhales. Drawing the air in on the inhales. <laughs> Just another couple of breaths. Noticing how your mood is going. <laughs> Noticing how your mood is, your energy levels, how your mind is going and your thoughts. Staying here for a couple more breaths. And then drawing the knees up, soles of the feet on the floor. Feet are hip width apart, and then we're going to drop the knees over to the left and then the right. Now, windscreen wipers. Maybe you have a couple of toys around to chuck for the dogs, keep them entertained, or a chew toy. And when you're ready, just drawing the knees back to neutral, maybe extending one leg up, roll the ankle, point and flex the feet. Dropping the right foot down and coming with the left. So we all know it's hard to practice. We all get busy. We all have commitments to others, responsibilities to maybe pets or children or partners or work. So I'm just making a super quick little flow that you can chuck down your mat and start practicing. And even if you've got five minutes, you can do this when you need a break, when you need a few breaths, when you need to be mindful, connect back to your body and your breath. This is a practice to use. It's filled with distractions, but we're still gonna get a bit of movement in and we're still gonna get a bit of breathing in. And rolling onto your side, making your way up to seated. And we'll come into our twisted deer. It's like this one, Twisted Gazelle maybe we will recall it because Nara is like a little bouncing gazelle, so is Pippa. So bringing your knees into um, 90 degrees, like little L's. I've got the left sole of my foot pushing up against my right upper thigh. My right sole of my foot both pointing around to the right. My left leg is pointing out in front of me, left knee. And then I'm going to twist around to my left side and bring my hands down. Breathing here 
inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm.